So I had a bold idea today and um, that is to uh, do gel printing July. And uh, <laughs> I'm actually quite excited about it. Um, yeah, my plan is to, to do something like making 31 gel prints in 31 days or um, doing a daily practice with uh, gel printing uh, in July, something like that. And um, I want to put that also on uh, YouTube. Now, the reason that I want to, to do this, first of all, I love gel printing. Um, let me put my coffee to the side because I may tip it over in my enthusiasm. Um, but yeah, the reason is that I, I love gel printing. Um, I love it because uh, you can create fantastic uh, texture, which is something I love to focus on in my, in my art. Um, there are lots and lots and lots of fun techniques possible. And there's also always that bit of a surprise element, which is uh, really fun also. And uh, this month on my Patreon, we're doing um, uh, gel printing as well. So uh, for my patrons, I've made a series of um, uh, gel printing basics, which uh, really give a whole overview of um, everything that you want to know if you're new to uh, gel printing or if you want to look up certain uh, topics. And we're also doing an in-depth uh, project uh, this month. So I really am focusing on <laughs> gel printing this month. And yeah, doing a daily challenge like uh, gel printing July, uh, that really is a great opportunity to, to uh, focus on a topic like that, to uh, do practice, a daily practice. And uh, <laughs> very important for me <laughs> as well, it also helps to uh, overcome perfectionism. I, um, I did a challenge similar like this in uh, 2014. And uh, that was a challenge to make uh, uh, 101 artworks in 101 days. And it was the first time that I did something like that. And um, it, it really helped me to, to just start making art and not to overthink everything and not to wait for the perfect time or the perfect uh, whatever, uh, but just start doing. And that for me was, was helped me so, so, so much in, in my own um, art journey. It was also the, the time that I discovered gel printing. So I made a lot of uh, gel prints in that time. And uh, yeah, this, that challenge helped me also to learn a lot about uh, gel printing. So um, yeah, I, was, I already had uh, for a long time an idea that I wanted to do a, a, a challenge like that again. But you know how that goes. <laughs> trying to find the perfect time or the right time or the right whatever, which is never there. So this morning I thought, oh, this would be the perfect time to do gel printing July, right? And then I thought, well, I don't have time. I have to do this and that and everything. Maybe I do it next month. But then I thought, well, gel printing August doesn't uh, alliterate, right? It doesn't sound as good as gel printing July. But seriously, it is... I, I really felt like it never is the right time for something like that. It is actually the stretch of doing a commitment like that. And at the same time, getting over my own perfectionism, which can sometimes be kind of a block, a barrier towards just doing stuff. And I really also want to be more on YouTube again. I, I started my channel in 2014 and then I, I started teaching and I never found enough time. 
And I really want to, uh, also with my patrons, but also here on YouTube, I really want to be more in a direct and a more a regular contact with you all. So, yeah, that, me <laughs> that means that I have to try to find ways to overcome my own perfectionism, which, yeah, really... With my perfectionism, I, I put so much time in making videos and so on that I, uh, um, I cannot really um, make videos as often as I would like. So, yeah, for me, this will be also a challenge or a practice to make uh, 31 videos on gel printing in 31 days. And yeah... <laughs> Maybe you can hear it in my voice. I'm actually really excited about that. So that, that kind of giddy feeling, I think that is the, a good sign that uh, I should just go for it and uh, try not to be afraid to mess up if that happens. <laughs> so gel printing July, that's what it is. Now today, <laughs> it's July 3rd. Unfortunately, I didn't think of <laughs> doing this challenge before uh, July 1st. So that was already in my yeah, uh, controlling mind or my bit OCD mind or my perfectionistic mind. That was already like, hmm, it's July 3rd. Uh, how can I call it then? Is July 3rd day one or... Um, how uh, I didn't start on July 1st, which should be day one. Anyway, what does it matter, right? It's all about the practice, the fun, and being in, in regular contact with you all. That's for me, and yeah, overcoming my perfectionism. That's for me what this challenge is about. And uh, gel printing July will be a great focus. So for me too, July 3rd, and um, I thought, okay, I'll just um, uh, do a creative solution. Maybe uh, I should keep that in mind. Creative solutions will help me to uh, not be entrapped or enclosed in, in my own challenge if that is not helping me. So um, I am just going to try to make three videos today <laughs> on July 3rd. Um, so that I can then, um, yeah, um, f for myself feel like uh, I am all caught up again with, uh, uh, with the rhythm of uh, 31 <laughs> videos in 31 days. Okay, I guess enough talking. I, I really hope you'll uh, join me for this challenge. Um, my patrons, uh, I hope you will join me and we can chat about it. And also in my Facebook group. Um, yeah, if, if, you, if you want to join this challenge and, and you, you don't have to be perfectionistic about it. You can join for a few days or in any form that you, feels good to you. Um, but yeah, um, I will post it in, in my Facebook group uh, as well. So I will uh, put links to both my Patreon and my Facebook group in the description box below. Okay, so enough talking. I'm going to start gel printing, right? So um, I when I do gel printing, I love to um, keep my options a bit limited because as I said there are so 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 many techniques and options possible that uh, for me it, creatively it helps if I limit uh, uh, those options so that I don't get overwhelmed. So I picked a few colors of paint. So I have picked these and these are my main ones because these are all matte paints. Uh, this is Purple Matter from Blick, this is Amethyst from Blick, and this is, let me see if I can read that, a Grey Haze, and this is, oh, I should get my glasses because I can't read it, I will, oh, Andy Skinner, anyway, I'll also uh, put um, 
a list of those supplies in, in the description <laughs> of this video. So I like uh, these colors, I've used them before. And this is uh, light blue violet from Liquitex Basics. This is unfortunately not a matte paint. I would like to work with matte paints only today, but I don't have a nice blue or purpley blue uh, color in matte. So um, that's it. this is a normal acrylics. Anyway, again, <laughs> I think the whole sub theme of my gel printing July will be about not getting caught up in my own perfectionism, right? So even my colors or my paints are not perfectionistic, uh, all matte paints. Okay, and I want to play with water as well. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, and I have um, a gel plate here. I have two of these. I will get the other one also. I like to work with multiple uh, 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 gel plates because uh, of the way I work. And this is approximately 8 by 8 inch or approximately 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters. Um, and I really like that size at this moment, but I have lots of gel plates actually, and I like to play with different shapes and sizes, but we'll keep that for other videos. So, um, yeah, let me just uh, grab my papers and get everything ready, and then I will start for my first video of gel printing July. Yay! <laughs> okay, I uh, Almost finished drinking my coffee. Let's shake this. I haven't used this paint for a little while. I'm going to start with the Blick paints. Again, I, I try to keep it a little bit simple, especially when I start and, and then I will see where it takes me. Oh, <laughs> gosh. Yeah, that's too much paint. <laughs> Yeah, so that's worse because I haven't used this paint for a little while, so I think it's dried a little bit, the first part. So let me just remove a blob. Oops. Okay, and I think here it's not that thick anymore. Yeah, that's good. And what I want to do, because um, I love the technique of working with water, because you get a bit of what is happening here already. The, the plate is kind of creating a resist and that breaks up the paint. And sometimes you don't want that uh, <laughs> to happen, but I really love that effect actually. So I want to get that effect um, for my gel prints today and maybe on other days as well, we'll see. And this is all about just playing and having fun. But yeah, this is the effect and that's why I also use water. So I have a small brayer here. I just cleaned it a few days ago. Uh, but this is a little bit of very thin metallic paint and I couldn't remove that. But I don't think that's a problem at all. So let me just clean my palette knife. I don't want my paint to dry so let's clean that off and I have some scrap paper here on the side and I can roll off my brayer on that anyway so I'm just going to mix this and I don't want it to become all the same color so I'm not going to mix it too much and this may be a little bit too thick in order to get that breaking open effect. But yeah, I am not sure actually, because it's been a while. So I'm just going to play with that. Again, let's get rid of that perfectionistic mind that thinks that it should be all perfect in one go. So, let 
let me get a stencil here so this is a stencil that I've used for many 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 times for years I love this um, mandala uh, yeah look let me see if I can center it as much as possible I think it's a little bit too thick my paint but we'll see I'm just rolling my brayer now so that my um, stencil will adhere but yeah this is a stencil that I've been using for years so unfortunately I cannot tell you the name of this stencil or where I bought it but of course you can use any stencil that you like so I think what I see is that the paint is becoming a bit thinner now because I'm going over it with my brayer let's just go for it and get my water and see if I can get this broken pattern effect and it means I, I um, know that I have to give it a little bit of time to uh, work uh, sometimes the water needs to yeah as I said um, get a little bit of time and then you will see that broken open effect um, so I will let this rest and I will get my other gel plate and uh, yeah if I now pick it up I can see a little bit of that breaking stuff happening but here not that much so probably it's a bit too thick but I'm going to get my other gel plate and uh, try it again so I um, use a plexiglass uh, base plate for my gel plates and that's just I find it handy because I can pick it up then and uh, handle it much easier so let me get my other gel plate so this is my other one of the same size approximately I'm getting my purple matter paint try not to squirt <laughs> out too much so uh, let's make it a little bit thinner and see how that goes and let's take this stencil this is a stencil that I made myself I designed it and then I um, um, cut it out so on a uh, cutting machine so now you can see that my brayer is is removing the paint because the paint is so thin but you can see all that broken open effect that's what I really love I just want also to to try to get that with uh, multiple colors uh, I will let this dry and let's go to my other my first one yeah there's not a lot happening here let's pick up my plant oh but I do love the pattern yeah <laughs> actually I'm really liking this I'm really loving what I see uh, um, so I think I'm going to uh, let this dry and then uh, I'm going to create my print from this and um, I will just help the drying time by uh, using my heat gun this is uh, uh, I've never had any problems with using a heat gun with my gel plate I just move the heat gun so it's not focusing on one part of the gel plate and uh, this is not very hot anyway um, you can also just use a hair dryer on the cool setting uh, but for me this uh, this works this is almost dry Ooh, I'm really loving it but it's always a surprise how it will turn out um, I will get my other gel plate and dry that as well so here this can now uh, 
dry the, the few last parts can dry in the meantime yeah so with this one i really like the the look of that broken open pattern and when i was thinking of starting with this technique today i was also kind of feeling the the um, symbolic um, um yeah the symbolic uh, significance of uh, breaking open right because for me as i said this is also about getting over my perfectionism and just do and uh, make lots of um, youtube videos and uh, yeah be in a more direct and regular contact with with uh, all of you so anyway uh, broken open that's what this pattern reminds me of um, let me get tweezers so I can remove my stencil without uh, touching with my fingers here let's have a look Ooh. <laughs> oh wow I love it even though this is just one color, I'm really loving the pattern and uh, yeah, this focal point as well. So I'm really liking this. Let's make sure this is dry as well. This is very thin, this paint, so it doesn't need a lot of heat to dry. This is already great like this so i'm going to pull both prints i'm so excited to see <laughs> how they will turn out um, so i'm going to use white paint i like to use uh, amsterdam standard um, acrylics for uh, my pickup layers that's just because uh, i know it works well for me you can use other paints as well just experiment a little bit with that Okay, so I have a pellet knife because this is a big jar. Uh, I try to use uh, um, one brayer only for white pickup layers like this because uh, <laughs> sometimes I contaminate uh, it otherwise. And I uh, just like the other one, I just cleaned this one. So this is uh, a perfectly clean brayer. Uh, but it, <laughs> it won't stay that way. But I try to keep that just for white. Anyway, here is a bit of white paint and I still have some scrap paper to the side so I can roll off my brayer. Ooh, and I have to be careful because this is a very thin layer of paint and um, otherwise I'm, I'm removing I mean the, the first layer, the red layer, is very thin and uh, ooh, I risk removing that paint instead of spreading my white paint on top. I'm, I'm not even sure if, I, if that happened already. Let's take a quick peek. But there's nothing I can do about it. No, fortunately it didn't happen. Uh, but that's why you need to be careful and make sure that there's some paint on your brayer before you go over a thin layer like that. Now quickly, let's get my paper. This is watercolor paper. It's 12 by 12 inch and I like that because with this size of gel plate because it gives me a nice white kind of a frame around it. And now I'm standing up here to try to center my, the placement as much as possible without getting my head in front of the camera. Okay. And again, <laughs> without getting overly perfectionistic about this placement as well. <laughs> Oh, I really love the way this looks here. Fantastic. So let me put it upside down. And then just adding some pressure because my white paint uh, will act as a glue so I can transfer my um, my uh, yeah my image to the paper. 
and I'm going to let this uh, dry and then I'm going to pull my print and now I'll do the same with this one Okay, so I'm going to let this dry as well, and then uh, I'll be back to uh, pull both of uh, both prints. Okay, so I've let this one dry. I hope I dried it long enough. We'll see. Let's see if everything will come off. So far, so good. <laughs> I try not to bend my paper. Here, it is still sticking to the plate. So I'm starting now from the other side. Let's see how that goes. So far, so good. Yeah, only that corner there did not come off. Now, there are ways to, to deal with that and repair that. But um, <laughs> since for me, this uh, series is also all about uh, letting go of my perfectionism. Let's just uh, see this as a reminder, a gentle reminder to myself uh, <laughs> about that uh, sub theme for me. Uh, but yeah, I'm oh, look at that texture. I am just loving this, uh, this texture, and it's amazing, right? Just with one color of paint. Uh, yeah, I, I love this look. Now, let's get the other one so here's the other one i hope it's dry enough i hope i can get everything off but if not we'll just accept it in all of its glorious imperfection imperfect <laughs> imperfection yes all right let's go so it's always this moment of surprise and <gasps> excitement, like, oh, how will it turn out, right? Because even though I can see it a little bit from the other side, still it's always different to see how it comes off. Now I'm bending my paper here a bit too much. That's just the way it is. I'll try to be more careful. Yeah, so the corners will be will not come. But look at that. Oh wow, I'm loving this. As I said, there are ways to um, repair that, but I'm not going to do that now. If you're interested, uh, I may uh, do that in one of my uh, 31 videos <laughs> for this month. <laughs> we'll see. But yeah, look at the texture and, and uh, I, I'm loving the colors as well. So um, let's get the other one. Yeah, and I also love uh, to have this space, this white space around uh, my plate. So that's why I choose these sizes. I love the square shape. But uh, as I said, I al also love other shapes of gel plates. Uh, right now I'm just working a lot with these sh uh, square shapes, but uh, you have round plates, you have uh, uh, rectangular ones, uh, even other kinds of shapes as well. Um, if, if you don't have a gel plate and you don't want to purchase it, it uh, you can also make them yourself. There are lots of videos on YouTube how to do that. I have never done that because I have only uh, store-bought uh, gel plates. Anyway, look at that. I'm so happy with this. So uh, I guess this is uh, gel printing July day one. <laughs> 
I love how these turned out, but most importantly, I'm really excited about uh, starting this challenge. And um, yeah, that I'm, I'm uh, going to do uh, 31 videos in uh, 31 days on uh, uh, YouTube and also yeah, to be able to connect and um, yeah, as I said, to overcome my own perfectionism, to, to practice uh, working with the gel plate, because that's so, such a big help. You really have to experiment and just do it and uh, try things out and just uh, don't be afraid to fail. So I hope this is an inspiration for you too. Uh, I hope you will join me in whatever way feels good for you. Uh, if you want to do uh, a bit of gel printing every day or uh, however uh, works for you, I hope you'll join me. Um, as I said, um, I will uh, post uh, also in my Facebook group. So if you would like to share your work, I'd love, love, love to see it there. And on my Patreon, um, if you really want to take a deep dive into gel printing and learn in a more systematic way uh, about the basics, but also on um, a, a whole project from start to finish really um, yeah that's on my patreon so um, uh, take a look there i will leave uh, links in uh, the description box and also the links um, to uh, or, or at least a list of the supplies that i used for this so i'm so excited <laughs> i hope you'll join me and uh, I'm going to take a break uh, now and then uh, we'll go to, we'll make a video for gel printing July day two. Hope to see you there. Mm -hmm.